Got a couple of uh, PZ27 carbs here. We're going to go ahead and uh, rebuild them. That one's already been rebuilt once before, but the other ones are not built for being taken apart. Case in point. What they do is they break off the tops of the screws so you can't open them. But we're going to change that. All right. First things first, get a Dremel. Ah, there it is. Sneaky little guy. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm sure some of you guys have been wanting to take apart some of your carbs, and it, it's just never easy. But if you get a really small cutoff wheel, you can pull it off. I lost my little cutoff wheel piece, so I got one of the pieces that holds rubber for one of these guys and just put some electrical tape on it. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and Make this carb work for us. Cool. Always use like a they teach you this in welding. They always tell you to use a pinky as a, as a pinpoint spot or something if you can so that you can keep good control on what you're doing. But don't look at what you're cutting. Wear safety glasses. Golly, he's Done it. Oh, I hear an engineer. Yes, I'm wearing clothes. I'm wearing clothes, just boxers. But I'm doing. <clears throat> All right, so a business partner is glad that he came through. But, anyways, so we're going to go ahead and pop it loose. Oh, I got it. Look, I got it. 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 Mm. Okay, it's a little too big there. Welcome to mm. Okay, okay, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. So, I'm going to go ahead and... In this case, it's uh, already loosey, lefty, tidy. So I'm driving it inwards. Oh, got it. She is the second one. Okay. Now how am I gonna deal with this last one? This last one's gonna be a little tough. Oops. Well, I'm just not the best at this, but got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. She's out. We did it. We just took apart a carburetor that isn't supposed to be taken apart. Okay, so now let's get the cap off. Last one. Ah. All right, now let's go ahead and pop it all apart. Wiggle, 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 wiggle with it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle with it. All right, she's out. Wake up, All right. Well, it's out. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, float needle out. There she is. All right. I'm going to go ahead and clean out the port. Dun, 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 dun. Nothing more. Nothing more. Bam. Bam. These are awesome. 
KidsATVParts.com, man. I usually get these for about a buck. Okay, this one's just a ball bearing, but you should still clean it anyways. Oh man, you can't see anything with my fat hand in the way. Hmm. <laughs> see, that had some wax in it earlier that I wound up wiping on my hand. Wish I could have shown y'all. Okay, that's pretty much it. All the jets are clean. So, we're going to clean off the seat. On my underwear. Because <laughs> I'm building my boxers, baby. Okay, so, put the float back in. Now, the only way to know that you've got the float in right is that there's usually like a little arm. Let's see if you can see the arm. There it is. That little guy right there means it needs to be on the bottom. It'll touch the post. That's which way you know you're supposed to be able to put this sucker in. So stick it in the hole and lay it down low. Okay, I need to get the rod. Use some of Mom's spit if you've got some, but. Wait, this is after Corona. Sorry, no, don't use anyone's spit. Mm. One, two. She's in. Let's put the cat back on. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, this should probably shut. That doesn't look right, does it, guys? Doesn't look right at all, does it? Let's flip it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle with it. Slide it out. Oops, I should have just left that in. Okay, one more time. One more again, guys. Stick it back in the hole. Go, she's in. Now I just need to pin back in. Wiggle, 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 wiggle with it. There she is. See, that's the little Schrader valve inside. Watch. See, even though the entire needle doesn't move, the Schrader valve itself will open. There you go. So now, you know, it works. So, <clears throat> trick is now I'm going to blow in it. Every time it shuttered, that meant that it closed. So, as long as the valve is set correct with the float, when it's full of fuel, it'll let fuel in when it's out, close it, can't get any more fuel in, when it opens back up again. Or in the case of how you're really riding. <laughs> but that's basically what it looks like, and the fuel is just trying to keep it from, from going too crazy. And then there's a little valve <clears throat> that's on the bolt. That makes sure that when you get too much fuel to just dump it out. It does that on its own. It is not associated with this drain. If you look, they're two separate components. But I'm horrible at this. So, I hope you got to see what you were looking for. Oh, look at that. Oh, so fancy. ADD kicked me right in the face. Keep going. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get those screws that we had. Stick them back in the hole. Ducky, go in the hole. Ducky in the hole. Hole, 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 hole. 